Not yet last year. Yeah? Well, we're gonna do it again. Brad Vita, you'll get it by year. I love Good you. Deal. Bass player. <laughs> Good deal. Good deal. About 30 seconds, guys. 30 seconds. All right. Well, it's probably one of the coolest things we have in Tucson, and we say cool for a couple of reasons, and one of them is not this guy over here. Uh, Southern Arizona's premier summer concert series, Music on the Mountain, is returning to Summer Haven this season, and the lineup is filled with some of the best of the Southwest. And we're partnering with them to feature some of the best local music in Tucson. The series is going to kick off with Americana classic rock country band Chuck Wagon and the Wheelchairs. They're here to, with a preview of their upcoming show. Welcome. Hey, guys. To hey. You. Thanks for being here. Thanks for awesome. having me. <laughs> there, there's a lot more band members, but 11 o'clock we couldn't. I couldn't make That's it. That's all right. We're the life grateful you're here. So, yeah. <laughs> so, we've been listening to a lot of your music, great music, and you've yeah. been performing this for decades, is that right? Decades is the word. How did you get your start? Uh, well, Scott and I, we were you know, young men. We were in our 20s, and we were wearing spandex pants, and our hair was ratted up, and we were doing the Aerosmith. I love it. Very nice. <laughs> and then we saw this country, local country band that was making more money and dressing casual, didn't need all the production. We thought, let's do that. Yeah. And that's where it started. And it works. Well, you're going to perform, name the song that you're going to perform uh, in a couple of moments. Uh, a true story called My Girl Passed Out in Her Food. Okay. Interesting true title, true right? And, you know, I, I took a look at the CD, and you've got some really, really interesting titles of songs, names. Where do you get the inspiration behind the music? It just seems to have this really fun, sort of humorous uh, flair to it, right? Pax Blue Ribbon. <laughs> That's been the inspiration for everything we do. It's cheap, right? Yeah. Well, by the way, I, I get some money for that plug, don't I? Yeah, <laughs> I think you do. Well, the, the, the songwriting process, what is that like? What are your jam sessions like? Jam sessions? I don't know, we haven't rehearsed in years. We haven't rehearsed in <laughs> years. It's so long. <laughs> the, uh, the songwriting process used to be when we're on the road. Whoa! When we're on the road. <laughs> Uh, we were in the motel rooms a lot of times during okay. the daytime. They had nothing to do, so we'd write songs all day. 
that's where it, that's where it came from. Yeah. But since we got off the road like 20 some years ago, we haven't written a song since. So we might book a, a suite at Motel 6 this afternoon and go write some more songs. Yeah. Okay, go so more. Like <laughs> well, Tucson loves you, and it seems that you all love Tucson. What would you say it is about the city that complements your style of music? You'll have to ask one of them. I live in Arizona. Okay, <laughs> what would you say Tucson? Oh, very open-minded, a lot of uh, younger people, a lot of people that have been around town for decades, because you know, Tucson's a great place, and uh, people go, and they come back. I'm a native. I've lived here all my life, so. I Where were you born, Scott? Right here. Where? Tucson. Saint. Uh, I don't know. TMC. In a lost planet, they come, and they were the ones that kind of inspired us to become sort of a country rock band. Okay, cool. Yeah. Where? So we owe it all to them. All right. Yeah. Where are your favorite spots to play around town? Yeah. Mount Lemmon. Mount Lemmon. Mount Lemmon. <laughs> For sure. Yeah, that's a great place. Mount Lemmon. Anywhere else? Um, uh, actually, we don't play in Tucson much because everybody knows who we are and don't come anymore. Broadway. Yeah, Eddie's Will that be a regular? Yeah, once a month, one Saturday a month, starting in July. I think it's the 23rd of July, mm -hmm. if I'm not mistaken. Well, you do a lot of touring outside of Tucson. Uh, what, what is it like to be on the road? What do you guys like about it? What do you not like about well, it? Well, we don't go any further than about 100 miles. I took a punch <laughs> compass and drew a circle around Tucson, so yeah. Oracle's in there. Too bad. Yeah, yeah. We'll go down to Nogales. Okay. You can't stay up that late. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Takes it's, it out of you. It's tough. It's tough. Yeah, the old the bar scene, you know, it used to be.
come here. Let's not do the. Uh, okay, you need one of these. Rest of the back. We're going to finish off with these very, very tender, beautiful love ballads written by Scott on bass guitar. This is called You Always Say You Love Me When You're Drunk. A one, two, three, four, one. <laughs> I went down to the drugstore to get you some cigarettes. But when I got back, you weren't around. Is this the thanks I get? It seems to me our relationship is really on the blink. You only say you love me when you had too much to drink. It hurts me. I wonder if you even care Well, it seems to me our ship of love Has finally got it sunk You only say you love me Say the next line. I know it'll warm you up. It always works just fine. I'll go out to the kitchen and I'll pour a big glass of wine. If that's what it takes, then you only say you love me when you're drunk.